The Wrath of the Queen welcomes you, Guardian. You are cleared to dock at the Queen's Bay. Hello, welcome to our stream. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm Deej from Bungie, and it's my pleasure to introduce you to the panel that we have on hand for a reveal of The Reef in the House of Wolves. I'm joined by Christopher Barrett, creative director at Bungie. Hello, everybody. And of course, when we arranged an audience with the Queen's Guard, we felt it only appropriate that King Gathalion would join us in the reef. No raid! What? Hey, how's it going? Hey, uh, how you doing? I'm what? good. I'm so good. Good. There's like barely anybody watching. I can I can feel you tense right now. No, no, yeah. no. I'm, I'm no, fine. It's okay. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm looking at our chat window. We're, we're, not, we're not at all shaky. We're yeah. good. <laughs> we're fine. It's good. We're relaxed and happy to be here. Happy that you're here as well. Absolutely. So our goal today is to show you the new social space that's going to be the hub of activity and your experiences in the House of Wolves and also give you uh, a view of what the House of Wolves will mean for everything that you own and everything that you are in Destiny. So we're going to expose you to the new activities, the characters who will send you out back into action, and also give you an idea as to what accomplishing all of those things will mean for the gear that you currently own. Mm -hmm. So we are here in the reef. Can I die here? <laughs> you can die everywhere. I died here. I went through there. I, I became Ethereal for a second. That's good. <laughs> I'm back. Don't worry. Good. It's all good. Yeah, are you? I'm back. Yeah, all we're right. good. So, enough of this mass suicide. Okay. You both, you both died within the first 10 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is so hard. Let's go. Playing games is hard. All right, where to? So, um, the first thing we're going to do is um, I'd love to give our audience a sense of. Uh, why you're the perfect person to speak to us about the House of Wolves and to introduce them to this experience. So okay. you have been the creative director on Destiny when it was uh, a basic idea and a few sketches on a piece of paper, yeah? Yeah, I did uh, uh, art direction on the first game, so I'm uh, very familiar with the universe. I've mm -hmm. been working on it for yeah, seven years now, something like that. So yeah, the, uh, the opportunity to, to work on this expansion has been awesome. So. Super excited for it. Well, let's hope it's worth it. <laughs> Ready. So we're going to meet some of the story agents that... Uh, Are we RP walking there? Yes. We're, okay. we're, we had a slow walk, though. Okay. Gotta, gotta make that, it. We're at a jog right now. Yeah. We need to slow we it down. Catch up. Slow it make down. It cool. catch up. Make it cool. So All this right. is the domain of the Queen and the Awoken. Talk mm -hmm. to us a little bit about... Why the Reef? Why at this moment in time are we coming into the Reef and, and why is this the focal point of our story? Sure, so um, the Fallen, uh, House of Wolves, has been sort of under uh, uh, control of the uh, Queen, um, as you probably saw in uh, some of the cinematics in yeah. Destiny 1. So um, the House of Wolves has rebelled and has, uh, um, as you've seen in the trailer, uh, killed a bunch of the Queen's guards. And that's bad. Yeah, that's okay, bad. Okay, that's bad, that's bad. We don't <laughs> yes, want that. Yes, yeah. Rebellion, bad betrayal. Bad for the Queen, bad for us, good for the Fallen. Sure. Um, and so uh, the House of Wolves has spread out into the galaxy, causing all kinds of mayhem, and uh, Petra and the Queen have called you, uh, the Guardians, to the Reef to, to help out. And there's Petra. Yep. People so will remember her probably from, uh, the the, if they uh, remember the Queen's point. Wrath uh, in uh, back... Uh, Many months ago, mm -hmm. uh, she is now uh, in the in the reef. What happened to her eye? <laughs> all it's will be revealed. Now. All will be revealed I need in time. To know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, and she has uh, her mask off as well. As, uh, yeah. So Petra, um, she's the main story agent for the House of Wolves. She's going to send you on that path to revenge. Uh, inspecting her inventory here, she's got uh, some new bounties for us. Those are all the most notorious uh, House of Wolves. Uh, people are going to wonder if these are just rehashes of the uh, the Queen's Wrath bounty that happened uh, later last year. Yeah, they are not. They are all new. All Success! New. <laughs> and she's got some uh, fancy things we can use to dress ourselves up with. Mm -hmm. She's got some shaders. She does have the shaders from the Queen's Wrath bounty, so I'll no longer be special with my rose gold. You will notice I am wearing... Yeah. Uh, what am I wearing? Which one Queen's is one blessing of them? on you, Guardian. It's very pink. Provincial Royal. Provincial. That's, that's just a, that's a basic shader. Yeah. Yeah, why is it? be so basic? Oh, oh well. Okay. I have it on my other character. Sure. Let's 
see. She's got a pretty couple nice shaders Got here him. as well that are not from previously. Queen's Wrath rank three. Yep. I like so those a lot. It? And uh, the uh, Awoken Ship. I don't know, did you notice that on there? I did notice that. I was getting ready to look at it. That That's is, quite uh, a view of that. <laughs> what is... That is, uh, it's one of my favorite ships for sure, so I wanted to make sure that... Does uh, it have all the fun flags off of it? Doesn't look like it does. No. Ah, oh, those were fun. You gotta be a part of the Queen's Guard. Good luck. Okay. To get the banners. <laughs> so, fans have seen this space before. There was uh, a reveal of our game all the way back in 2013. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, there's and then, been a lot of... you locked all that on disc, right? Yeah, well, that's, you know, definitely... Uh, <laughs> Definitely one of the fans' suspicions, one of the mm -hmm. community's suspicions, sure. is that all this stuff has been held in reserve. But uh, talk to us a little bit about the actual creative process sure. for the House of Wolves. Sure, yeah. The, uh, we had an early prototype of this space. Um, it's a place we've always wanted to go. Uh, the the Reef is now. a really cool uh, place in the lore, and uh, we knew we wanted to go here sometime. The like, I said, we had a prototype of it. Um, we decided the uh, House of Wolves story was a great time to uh, um, bring that back. We, you know, use it as a starting point, but we uh, rebuilt it from scratch. All, uh, all the new content uh, tailored specifically for the House of Wolves, uh, all the new vendor areas, all the new characters. Um, so, uh, yeah, it was a great, Please great starting clarify. point. Um, but resolve uh, sand yeah, bounty. Always wanted to Birth visit the reef. Uh, so, is there going to be more now. story and lore this time around compared to like the Dark Below? So, uh, Petra will be your uh, main. Uh, main uh, story agent, I guess. Sure. So um, she will lead you through a series of quests and mm -hmm. the story, the main story of the House of Wolves. Um, yeah, we definitely wanted to make a really uh, coherent, uh, really uh, um, really fun story that I think uh, um, has you hunting down these yeah. uh, House of Wolves. And so I think, uh, yeah, I mean, there's plenty of story. The, uh, the uh, Petra and uh, a few other characters we'll meet uh, shortly will guide you on your adventures through those uh, A lot of people argue quests. that the lore is excellent in the game, but it's all locked away in like, grimoire cards and things like that that you mm -hmm. have to get like through a third party mm -hmm. situation. Um, is that something that we could ever viably see in game? Like uh, actually be able to look at our lore in game? As far as grimoire cards go, yeah. and, like it, in grimoire integration into the game yeah. is... Uh, you know, it's something that we've heard. It's a piece yeah. of feedback that we've heard from the community. Mm -hmm. In the House of Wolves, having played it myself, um, I like a lot of the quests. I like a lot of the stories. Um, I like the fact that uh, a lot of the new story missions mm -hmm. represent some of the most interesting moments and some of the most interesting aspects of Destiny. But as far as grimoire integration into the game, it's not an announcement we're making right now. Mm -hmm. um, I can tell you that um, this is a fresh approach to storytelling in sure. the game. And uh, a lot of work has been done on the House of Wolves since we've launched Destiny. And uh, to me, it really feels like an adaptation to our creative process as developers, as storytellers, and uh, you know, a reaction to what players have liked and okay. what they've enjoyed. Sure. One thing I want to ask about Petra is one thing we remember from her when she was in the tower is that she had all sorts of cool weapons and armor pieces and things like that. Uh -huh. uh, are we going to have the chance to earn that stuff again? Yeah, there'll be a full set of uh, Queen's Wrath uh, armor and gear, armor and weapons uh, mm -hmm. that uh, you can acquire in the uh, Prison of Elders. Okay. Is that acquired through drops or is that something? Yep. Yep, those drop directly in the uh, Prison of Elders. Okay, well they'll have the same level light as, say, the 36, what is it, 38 light we're going to have to or something? Or? Yep, those will be uh, uh, on par with the um, the rest of the 34, content. 34, well, yeah, level 34 yes. light, but yes, the, number, the amount of light on the gear, mm -hmm. whatever it is. We'll, uh, we'll inspect all that in a little bit. Cool. Uh, on the subject of the Prison of Elders, uh, you can see that uh, the Warden for the Prison of Elders is uh, Varix. Mm -hmm. He is a uh, fallen from the House of Judgment. So uh, what is the House of Judgment, and why is this bastard allowed to be in the tower with all <laughs> of us guardian folk? Sure, he has, uh, he is, the House of Judgment is one of the uh, very old uh, houses of, of the fallen. Mm -hmm. um, he is one of the only known uh, remaining uh, uh, fallen from the House of Judgment. Um, he's gone through a few uh, trials himself. He's uh, missing a few arms there. They're now replaced with some mechanical arms. So he has kind of uh, been loyal to the queen. Um, mm -hmm. And so he was able to sort of stick around. He's sort of an informant in some ways. He's also uh, um, someone who, who runs the prison of elders. Um, 
trying to think. I, I'm, I'm super excited to have uh, Fallen uh, be one of the uh, characters you interact with. It's such a cool, uh, uh, the Fallen is such a cool race, and to be able to get right up close and have uh, to be able to talk to them and have them. Right yeah. There's there's some interesting uh, bonuses on the gear that he has here. Uh, first off, he's got the uh, what is it? The Judgment Chance. Which uh, where do you where do you get those? The armored cores and weapon cores. Sure. Yeah, those will drop from the. Uh, from the prison of elders. Okay. So, uh, is there a limit you, on how many times a week we can run that? Yep. Uh, you'll have uh, there'll be lockout weekly lockouts and okay. be, uh, multiple. We'll talk more about it when we get into sure. the prison of elders. Sure, sure. But there'll sure. be um, there'll be multiple challenges that you can partake and get uh, get drops, and then uh, you can turn them into varics for uh, the high level gear. And there's also some uh, some fun new. Uh, uh, perks to them, shank burn. I'm noticing on this auto rifle, which yep. isn't a pea shooter. So thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually got decent impact on it instead of being high fire rate with nil impact as we've been used to. Right. <coughs> Necrochasm. <laughs> so yeah, we have a, a full suite of uh, all fallen themed, uh, you know, uh, class items. We have ships, mm -hmm. uh, one from uh, each house, which is uh, pretty cool. You've got the house of winter. You've got the house of devils. Um, you can collect all the different ships. Um, also have um, shaders specific to those houses. Okay. So you can dress like your favorite fallen. Sure. Does his inventory uh, rotate? Uh, so, uh, right. So each week there'll be different uh, rewards uh, up at the top where it says Prison of Elders. You'll sure. have. Sure. Uh, well, that's fun. Okay. Yep. And then, like any component of the Destiny Endgame, that stuff has a weekly reset. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like the Nightfall Strikes, like mm -hmm. things like that. And we really want to uh, introduce the ability to sort of preview the gear that you'll be able to win instead of it sort of being hidden, like, you know, uh, not sure what you're going to get. Like, mm -hmm. that's why we're showing some of the items on his inventory himself, so you can kind of uh, that's awesome. know what you're looking for and kind of work towards it. Yeah. And of course, uh, you know, you'll also have the, uh, um, you know, some secrets awaiting inside the Prison of Elders Less itself. Less chance yeah. in the yeah. progression yeah. system, like, yeah. But you're also, you know, obviously there will always be... Uh, is his inventory going to run on a pattern or be RNG-based? It is... I don't know. I'm not positive on that. I think uh, I think it's boom. Yeah, <laughs> I did it. You stumped us. Well done. So actually, well done. So we want to make sure. I think it's it's actually a pattern. We want to make sure that um, if you, if you're playing uh, consistently, sort of like how Iron Banner is, where it's like you can yeah. more or less guess when yep yep it's going to be the right week. Sure. Right. Yep. We want to make sure that people can, if they're playing constantly and playing the Prison of Elders, they can work through and collect all the gear eventually. So yeah, we don't want the same uh, pants coming up you know four times sure. in a row. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay, yeah. cool. Diversity. Variety, but predictability. I know well. exactly what Lord Saladin will have as an mm -hmm. inventory this mm -hmm. week uh, when the Iron Banner comes back up, and this week in the Bungie Weekly update. I promise I'll tell you what that stuff is. So there are some elements here. Mm -hmm. Ten. Huh? They're just. I, I noticed that they huh. they stand to attention when you walk up. So this is the Queen's Guard. Mm -hmm. Just another element to sort of create the living social world of Destiny. Yeah? Sure. Set pieces. Mm -hmm. Yep. Where's the Queen at? Queen is safe and sound. I want to go look at her behind those doors. So check this out. Who's this guy? Where are we headed? Oh, down. We are headed down the, the, to, to the good brother. The candle. The candle room. You're immune to candles in the game, by the way. <laughs> yes, it of course. Just, of it course. just doesn't phase you. It's fine. Yeah. It's just solar energy. Man. Yeah. Okay. Good. A very low amount of solar. Solar energy. candles. Yeah. Solar candles. Perfect. Yeah. So this is Brother Vance. He is a disciple of Osiris. Mm -hmm. And uh, what role does he play in the what House of Wolves? He will be the uh, emissary of Trials of Osiris. He will be your guide. He will uh, be the person uh, you come to for rewards, um, to buy new uh, passages. Mm -hmm. um, we'll talk more about that, obviously, uh, uh, in the coming, uh, coming Twitches. But yeah, yeah. We have a whole reveal plan for the Trials of Osiris. Mm -hmm. So we'll delve deeply into uh, the details that will govern that competitive multiplayer special event. Okay. And uh, you can see that uh, there are different supplies here, different rewards. Uh, much like Iron Banner, there are even uh, consumables that affect the way the event plays out. Sure. How often is it you say the event runs? It's uh, every weekend. Every weekend? Yep. Okay. Yeah, until the reset. So it starts Friday and then... Okay, uh, great. And then till, till Tuesday. Well, that's fun. Mm -hmm. And as far as his gear and stuff, I guess we can't look at that. Just right. yet, his, right. his stock. You can look at it. I think. Uh, yeah, I oh, think actually, no, it's not. No, there. we can't. It's, nope. uh, yeah, the stock doesn't refresh yeah. for some well, time. Yeah, we'll we'll get into the gear and, and some of the different perks and some of the tactical analysis of how that stuff performs when we actually enter the uh, trials of Osiris. When we actually participate in the next 
stream uh, okay. a week from now. We'll be here and uh, we'll send in triple. You could say I'm triple excited about it. Triple excited? Yeah. About triple yeah. excited to get wrecked? Uh, yeah, I'm triple excited to get wrecked. And yeah. Uh, yeah, he's going to be, I'm going to team with him because I don't want to lose. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, uh, so triple neck wreck, triple neck, triple neck, <laughs> triple neck. Gross, yeah. Right? yeah, triple neck. It's like a multi-headed hydra. Yeah, triple wreck is on an all pizza diet, so he's going to be triple neck <laughs> TV by uh, probably next week. It'll be great. Yeah, yeah, it's going to yeah. be great. But yeah, uh, as you can gather from our our puns and our our hint dropping here, a uh, triple yeah. wreck will be here next week, and we'll go into the trials of Osiris, and uh, we'll see exactly what Brother Vance has in store for us. I think uh, we've released some of the images of the gear, right? Which is, oh, yeah. I, I love it. It turned out amazing. Like, yeah. uh, obviously, the Hunter gear is the best. Um, is it? But yeah, sure. Don't let's not. Let's not. <laughs> Looks like a mummy. It's got all the bandages. Warlock for life. Warlock for life. All of it. Uh, yeah, all of it makes you look like an Egyptian king. So it's pretty cool. Sure. Yeah. And uh, he's got the you know Eye of Osiris on the floor here. So mm -hmm. he's got some he's got some fun and some riches in store for all of us. And uh, I'm going to back away slowly because he's obviously a badass. All right. Yeah, I mean, he's got a tablet, so. <laughs> he's got What's on his tablet? <laughs> this is the scores, the names of the winners. Yeah, it's just stuff rotating. Uh, all the nice. gear that he's yeah. going to have for you. So this place is a little bit of a mess. You know, mm -hmm. like the tower is this really nice, manicured, mm -hmm. paved in Disney place where, you know, you get to walk around and feel like humanity is all, you know, polished up despite the collapse of the Golden Age. But talk to us a little bit about the art style of the reef, because this really feels a lot more utilitarian to me, uh, a little bit more functional and lived in. So what's going on here? Yeah, so the um, the reef is a very dangerous place. Um, it's full of uh, pirates and you know danger and uh, derelict spaceships. You can see some of the uh, uh, broken ships out in the in the skybox. Um, so it's where the uh, um, the Awoken live. So they've uh, w with it being so dangerous out there and so uh, sort of hard to live. You've got a you know a little bit more uh, um, dangerous atmosphere we wanted to kind of to sell so things mm -hmm. are a little bit darker the music's a little bit moodier yeah um, and uh, you know it's uh, place out on the outskirts yeah exactly yeah you know, so that yeah. sort of uh, that outer rim feel you know the whole uh, house of wolves really about you know, bounty hunting and uh, loot and mm -hmm. meaning but you know treasures from the from the queen and so we really want to sell that kind of bounty hunter outlaw kind of out in the mm -hmm. out in the wilderness sort of hunting criminals and getting treasures kind of feel so yeah derelict spaceport but uh, there are some familiar elements here welcome to mm -hmm. uh, we've got missions of the bounty tracker bot that has sent us out on so many evenings of uh, grinding and upgrading uh, are there going to be any fresh quests in this or is it uh sort of the same rotation of those and then the different bounties from queen dude over here well, the uh, the queen, the queen dude, the queen uh, dude, Petra, Pet Petra, I call Petra her queen dude. Queen, queen dude, dude is fine. yeah, that's yeah. gonna stick now. Yeah, yeah it's queen. Gonna your, that's gonna be your. Yes, fault. <laughs> uh, she knows telekinesis. She's juggling the knife. I noticed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which you know, so why can't she go mind out bullets? And, yeah, why can't she go out and use mind bullets on people? <laughs> well, she, there's one. You know of her. She only has one eye too, so yeah, her, exactly. her depth perception is just awful. Yeah, binocular yeah. vision is indicative yeah. of a hunting species. So sure. she needs. She there's strength in numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, guardians could be useful. Okay. Um, so we want to make sure you could do all the things that you want to do. <laughs> Queen dude is stuck in chat now. Perfect. <laughs> Queen dude. Queen yes. dude hype. Stop it. Stop <laughs> writing fiction. The abode de doges. So all the basic stuff we knew you'd want it to do, like all mm -hmm. the utility stuff, like pick up your bounties, uh, postmaster, vault, all that stuff's available. The um, vault is, is your vault, so it's not a separate vault. Correct. No. Right. no. Yeah, so. yep. Go ahead and look. Is, yeah. is that what you anticipate to see in there? That's what I anticipated to see in there, are all of these weapons. Cool. And this, this second crux that I have for no reason. Look at nice. all that empty vault space. Yeah, look at, all, look at look how at all. big that the vault is. is. I know, it's because I'm holding everything right now for reasons. Very good, it's good. It's good to be armed. Yeah, it is. So this is a self contained marketplace we got as you said we got the bounty tracker we've got the vault so is there any reason to go back to the tower uh, there is absolutely a reason Welcome. to go back to the tower okay and I'm so glad you asked <laughs> uh, is there anything else you want to ask us about the reef um, I mean is are there gonna be any areas that open up similar to say like the iron banana <laughs> There might be. There might be okay. a few secrets in here. We don't want to reveal everything We don't everything want to reveal today. them just yet. Right. Is there a yep. ghost down on this beam down here? <laughs> I don't know. Is there a I ghost? I don't know if there's a ghost. Did you Did you already find? Yeah! Achievement Hunters! Bam! <laughs> Wham! Well done. Did it. Well done. And that's why we're spectating from my point of view, because none of you know where Gothel's oh, funny. Oh, I'm on the beam. Yep, yep. 
No, it looks terrific. Uh, to and your question, you can die everywhere. it does feel like there are some rooms for expansion in the reef. So, sure. you know, the, the world of destiny is always evolving and changing and reacting to your decisions. And, uh, you know, the reef is no different. So, okay, great. So May 19th, Guardians, is when you can expect to uh, invade this space, make some new friends, make some new enemies. We're going to send you on some new adventures. A uh, whole new way to experience the Destiny Endgame through um, Varix the Loyal. Yeah, um, the, as far as Endgame goes, you know, obviously Bring me a lot of people were upset about the announcement of uh, no raid mm -hmm. with House of Wolves. Yeah. Um, this is the Reef Guardian. You've both played you uh, the Prison of Elders. Would noble. you say it's like a raid level activity? Or is it going to be just shoot a bunch of guys like a lot of people say? So we want to make sure absolutely that there's a really fun, uh, challenging uh, mm -hmm. end game activity. Um, we wanted to add uh, multiple, uh, uh, both PVP and uh, PVE uh, right. this time. So there's a chance to get uh, end game gear and challenge uh, at that at that level um, like for for both activities. Um, oh, I. You know, we, we, we want to make sure there's, you know, challenging, that there's, uh, um, you know, variety. I think we've talked about as well, challenge, variety, uh, skill. We want to make sure all that stuff's... Uh, is it free. something that's going to be stagnant and the same every time you play through it? Absolutely not. Nope. No. Awesome. That's, so yeah, really that's one of the main goals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's different Great. different every time you play. Um, and as we'll be talking about uh, coming up pretty soon, you'll uh, there'll be uh, interesting uh, changes each week as well. Okay. So there will be weekly changes to the arena, so... That's yeah. yeah. It'll be a dynamic experience. When you say a raid level activity, that points to the Destiny Endgame. Yeah. There are many different components of the Destiny Endgame. Mm -hmm. you know, there are heroic strikes, there are nightfall strikes, there are things like Iron Banner. And uh, with the Prison of Elders, we are able to extend the Destiny Endgame to include a different type of experience. Uh, that's always been our goal. Always something new to do in Destiny. Super. What about Zur? What about Zer? Is or Zer? I always call him Zer. 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 And what about what about Zer? Um, is is he going to be coming over to the uh, the reef as Zer's well? Zer's he's a mysterious figure. There's only three things I'll confirm about Zer. Okay. Zer will arrive in a place at a cadence in which you can anticipate. Mm -hmm. Zer will have a bunch of stuff mm -hmm. that you can buy, mm -hmm. and you can decide if you mm -hmm. want to buy that stuff or not. Yeah. And Any you never other know 